Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Infiltration. So as you can see, it's the end of the month already. And what I did, we, we picked up the Centurion last uh, episode. And I went ahead, pulled the Kit Fox out, and got the Centurion up and running. Now, what I ended up doing was changing the Hollander's loadout. We took the rack off of it, um, because I thought it would work better in the Centurion. I'm going to show you the, the uh, Hollander refit right now first. So the Hollander, um, we did have the Rack 5 and a pair of ER mediums. We managed to maintain a pair of ER mediums, threw in the ATM-6 and put on an ER PPC. I didn't want to go back to the ballistic setup in the torso. Uh, it's not very accurate being in the, in the torso. Um, so I decided to put it on the arm. Now if we get some more um, uh, arm mounts for better weapons to hit, it'll definitely go with the PPC. Uh, we didn't have anything for... Um, uh, the um, cockpits for PPCs or anything like that because uh, we uh, I mentioned last episode the urban mech that we had uh, we couldn't take the cockpit out of it, it was already built in so um, what I ended up doing was putting the radical prototype double heat sink kit in this guy with the exchanger and this thing runs extremely heat efficient um, now that I don't think that's added the PPC capacitors um, uh, bonus uh, heat generation when it's active um, but we can turn it on and off so we don't have to worry about heat over uh, overheating a lot and we got the ATM 6 and a pair of ER medium lasers as backups a couple of tons of, of uh, ATM ammo uh, for long long and close range um, so yeah I think that's a pretty good compromise for the Hollander loadout and then for the Centurion uh, it, I switched up the rack into here because we could put it in the arm rather than having it in the torso where it was in the Hollander and put the what double plus weapon mount on here as well giving it plus three uh, arm accuracy and minus one recoil gives us a bonus uh, firing arc and everything which is great um, and we have the fire control system AC which we picked up in the last mission again plus two accuracy with auto cannons minus one recoil so that's really going to help us out with this rotary auto cannon uh, three tons of ammo I think was more than enough uh, I don't think we needed any more than that unfortunately I had to put the ER mediums in the center torso and that's the only place I could put lasers and then we got the tag barrage on the arm so that's pretty much it we only had one double heat sink on this which goes with the core uh, the heat on this is actually really good um, so I'm not having to worry about overheating I did have to stick some patchwork materials in here to get the balance of the weight and everything but we are full armor on this guy which is awesome except for a little bit off the back not much but a little bit um, yeah, so I think this this loadout worked out really well. Um, I thought about making this um, the art artillery mech, uh, the missile launching artillery mech, but I figured it this Centurion is just much better suited to having the rotary auto cannon in the arm. So that's what we did with this way, and that's basically it. And today, let's have a look at the barracks first. Um, so Dallas here, we got a little bit of XP. I think I'm going to save it up though and go right right towards gunnery. Uh, tactics is nice. Um, for minimum range penalty and stuff, but we really don't have that as clan, so I'm not really that worried about it. Uh, reduced hesitation and stuff is nice as well, but I think we're going to go gunnery. Um, Duck, I think now that we're fours across the board, I think I might just end up saving up and going for sensor lock on him. I think we might just uh, end up doing that. Yes, uh, Goofy, um, we're going to hold off, I think, and go gunnery? Or do we want to get... I don't think he needs reduced, in he reduced heat generation. Um, no, I think he's fine as is. We're going to go gunnery on him. Uh, Gundal, we're going to wait and go gunnery. Now, Hellion, if you remember last episode, I tried to bump up both of these. I bumped up Guts first and confirmed it. And then I bumped up Tactics and Guts went back down to three. So we ended up with an issue. But then after the battle, neither of these are at four. So I don't know. I'm going to try again today. I'm going to go Guts because she takes a while to come back from uh, being injured. Um, it doesn't mention anywhere in her service record that she can't... Like the Assassin just says um, decreased XP for gunnery, right? Which is great. But there's nothing here that's reducing her ability to gain skills in Guts and Tactics. So I don't know what is going on. It could be a bug with the uh, because it's reducing the gunnery cost. Maybe it's a bug. I have no idea. But we're going to throw one on Guts. See if it sticks. I don't know if it will. And if it doesn't end up sticking, then we're just going to start saving up for gunnery. So let's just confirm this. So it does say 4 here, but we'll have to see at the end of the mission if it's actually going to stay that way. Who knows? Uh, and then with our leader here, we're fine with because we don't have enough X XP to do anything. 
Okay, so let's jump into battle. Um, command center, we're going to go right to a three skull today. We're going to take take the bait. Um, it's for the planetary government against pirate uh, pirates. So it's actually a good payout, half decent salvage. So three skulls. Uh, I think we're okay for that. Um, if not, we could always bail, but I think we'll be fine. So let's accept this. And we're going to give um, Goofy the Hollander. And we're going to bring Hellion in in the Centurion. Now, I'm wondering if we should... Actually, I'm going to switch these around. I'm going to give uh, Goofy the Hellspawn, because really he's our scout guy. This one's going to be a little faster than the Hollander, I believe. Um, so he is our scout, and Dallas is fire support, so we're going to give her the PPC mech. We're going to go this route, I think. And let's deploy and get this done. Alright, here we go. Area where the hostile mech was sighted, eh? Mortar technical. Let's see if we can blast him out of existence before anything happens here. All right. I think we're in range with the PPC. Maybe the the clan ER medium. Wow. Uh. Okay, we're just going to move into position, I think. I guess the uh, the drawback of being so fast, having the bonus initiative, is that on the opening turn, we really can't do anything. Um, I, I, I have a high doubt that he can see us. You never know. 0.9%. No damage detected. If you guys have watched all my videos, you know how I feel about uh, um, odds. I mentioned once before I played a uh, a game, a modded mod to a game, mod to Civ 4 called uh, Fall from Fall from Heaven, and I had a hero unit that was like super strong, had a 99.9% um, chance to destroy another unit. Just a weak. Uh, melee enemy melee unit attacked it and got killed so yeah even 0.1% still gives you a chance to die so you might as well take that shot if you can okay what do we got here did he hit himself he did how's that possible oh thunder is that a thumper or a thunder yeah friggin mortars I think he's got air burst. Thumper artillery. H E dire. Emperor, eh? Well that weren't nothing. Yeah, well he takes a face full of rack. See how that goes. Uh ninety is that did I say ninety ton assault? All right, what do we got back here? Urban Mech, LRM version. Okay. Let's remove some of these hostiles. See if we can remove this. We're gonna fire the arrow on him too, because hopefully we can hit the uh, the other guy. Or we can just fire it right in front of us. That works too. Okay. Reporting. Of course. It's a chance on this guy. Got streaks on this guy only. Cargo truck. He just has has like almost no armor, so let's multi target. We're gonna fire on again this guy and this guy, and let's see if Goofy can get rid of both of them. Beautiful. Beautiful. That vehicle is dead. I may end up marrying him too. Damn. Good shooting, dude. 
Um, maybe we fire a maneuver on this one. So I think we want this guy now. Yeah. Uh, we're going to fire a maneuver. So let's fire on him. They're going to switch to normal ammo. And fire one. We're going to BTFU. Back the F up. Now he can't see us for direct fire. Oh, we got some uh, combustion engines over here. So most likely three vehicles and maybe a mech. Walk it up. Walk it up. Alright, 38%. Not bad for the PPC. The ATM, so damn, man. Yeah, we're still a better standard ra standard range. That looked like a PPC hit to me. Beauty. Scramble that sensors, baby. Scramble them, scramble them sensors. Uh, can we get into a really good position here? Do we know what this guy's got on him? I didn't really look the last time I should have. Let's just get into here. Got this big rock blocking us from in from a direct fire. Wow, look at the rotary chance to hit, eh? Let's crank it up. Warlord it. Let's hammer this guy. Beautiful. Beautiful. That stripped a bunch of armor. Loving that rack, man. I will concede the rack 5 is probably the best weapon for the weight. Three PPCs, eh? So it looks like this guy has got a, had a full lance with him. What's this guy? Looks like a, a Preda. Huh. Looks like a Centurion. Yeah, he ran. He ran! Oof. Oh, one hit though. That's nice. A ghost. Wait a minute, why has he got smoke coming off him? He doesn't have an internal combustion engine. Huh. You have orders? Let's push this guy. I want him gone. Oh, look at the chances to hit. I'm receiving you. Double time. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see if we can get rid of this guy. The ATM chances to hit, though, man. Going with HE. Firing. Oh, that was bad. See if you can get the rack on this guy, man. Uh, yeah, let's go full on him. Oof, it's the other side that's been damaged, eh? Yeah, let's go this way, see if we can take this arm off. Nice. Yeah, but we didn't get his arm. That's all right, though. We almost got it. We got Gundal still. Uh, can we get a direct line of sight? I don't think we can. That's okay. We can bring the rain. Oh, really? Really? Okay, well. <sighs> if 
Yeah, you missed. It's all right. You had 35 chances. You needed really needed 100 chances to hit once. It's all right though. I'm not gonna hold it against you. Lerm, that's supposed to be an LRM. You hit for seven damage, eh? So that can't be within dead fire range. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Yep. Mostly. 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 So we got definitely, I mean, now that I see that these things, they could be all mechs. So once the Emperor is down, I think we can probably kill that Irby real quick. He's got a blue shield, oh. Blue field particle generator, whatever it's called. Protects from energy, I believe. Oh crap, we can't get the uh, main guy. Oh, yes we can. Yeah, let's get into here. All right, good chance to hit. Let's take him. Wow. I'm gonna need some more targeting systems. It's weird. In, in the early game, we found a lot of extra gunnery systems, um, like support, like like support systems and stuff. And now I can't find any. Let's just hope we don't lose them. Awaiting order. Um, <sighs> We're pushing these guys. I don't care. Gonna push them. Let's see if we can wreck this guy. See ya. Oh, you had an AC-5. Okay. Panther. Another Panther. And a Flea. Okay. Okay. Oh, we got a target. Um, we can probably drop this guy faster. So let's try and take him out of the battle. Critical hit, Commander. Yeah, you can get your fucking ass up here and do some work. Double time. Let's go. Triple time, my buddy. You're moving too slow. We need to put the mask in you. Oof. Taking the shot. Beautiful. Okay, take it all back. You take your time with getting up there, buddy. As long as you're killing Max, I don't take your time. This guy's gonna get the rack. It's a good thing they got low armor, it would be a different battle, I think. That's the ghost. These panthers are going to die pretty quick. The flea is going to go down pretty quick. Okay, you're in protected sight, or protected from uh, them seeing you at the moment. Let's get into here. Our rack is still not jammed. So let's take advantage of that and open up on this guy. Beautiful. Void system destroyed. Excellent. Hopefully that makes him easier to hit. Beautiful. Keep missing, buddy. Keep missing. Oof. Really? 
Now, do I want to... How might I help? Is there no way we can get... I guess we have to be in the water to avoid those guys. So let's do that. Get down in the water. We're going to take the chance that we can kill this guy pretty quick. So let's open up on him. Yes, Commander. Wow. Solid connection on that. Waiting for order. You're choking on me though, buddy. You're choking on me. I don't want those guys to be able to see me until uh, I'm ready for them. So let's see if we can crunch this guy. Alright. Um, let's get in the trees. There's no way we can avoid those guys seeing us. Our barrage is back up and running, but we're going to hold off using that. Drop some missiles on this guy. Well, got an AM massive. Didn't mean shit though. He hit 11 of the missiles too. Wow. Confirmed. There's a reason why I'm doing this. I want to pull them into the battle. I don't want to expose one or two mechs. That they can focus fire on. I want to have everybody in place. We've got some long ranges with this guy, so we'll just move down here. Target the ghost. Fire. Ooh, beautiful one hit at 7.7%. Beautiful. Let's see how this goes. So it's five against four now. That flea disappeared. He's in there somewhere. Oh. Ah, good shooting, man. Those large those must be large pulses. Is he gonna move or just sit there? He's gonna sit there. You know what though? These are pirates, so maybe. They're running internal combustion. <laughs> I don't know. Well. What's the plan? plan is to overwhelm these guys with firepower. So let's do it. Moving out. Let's burn through their sides. Where'd that flea go? He's right, right down in here. Ooh, really, eh? I think we try and kill this panther. Let's just do it. Oh, he's got a chainsaw. Really? Look at this. Well, they are pirates, so... You know. Let's see if we can deal a death blow to this guy. Firing. Roger. No, but certainly did a hell of a lot. Oh, prototype double heat sinks. No! Commander. We're working on the death blow. Uh, did we kill this guy? I think so. Uh, we're going to use the barrage. Maybe we connect with some other people. Oh, we missed with the barrage. I hope we, can that. we almost got our own unit, too. Ah, uh, we did get our own unit. she take a head hit? She took a head hit. God damn it. Okay. Nope, this guy's going down. Beautiful.
got our rack left still. Depending on where that flea decides to go, we'll, we can either shred this ghost or attack this panther, depending on where he's going. Oh, the ghost stayed still. Yeah. Can't get a side shot on him, but we'll move right up here. Maybe we can spot that flea. Don't shoot, just run. Oh, he retreated. That's fire six. We're going to warlord it, see what we can do. Panic level critical. He's dropping a load in his pants and I don't blame him. Now if these guys were fully armored, I think this would be a way different battle. Be a battle of attrition at that point. Or if they were clans, it would be a different story for sure. I'm not sure if I'm liking, like I like the idea that these guys are running away. But the thing is, is that they have nowhere to go. Like if they had a place to retreat off map to, then I'd be like 100% behind the them retreating, right? They staying to fight to the last man is a bad idea. Um, but them having a place to retreat to on the edge of the map, Beautiful. That would be a kind of a cool idea. So, you'd have to try and kill them before they got off the map. If you want the salvage. Right? You'd still win the battle if they retreat and leave. You'd still win the battle, but... Oof. Let's get this guy in the back. See ya. But you know what I'm saying though, right? Like... I understand they're retreating, but retreating and running around the map because they, they can't leave? Eh, we're jammed, of course. But that's fine. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, let's dead fire the whole thing. Here it comes. Oh yeah. They should do it. Here it comes. See ya. There it is, folks. All right, made 199,000. That's not going to be anywhere near that for repairs. Let's check out what the repairs are. I think we did more damage to ourselves than the enemy did to us. Uh, Emperor part, maybe. I don't know. ATM-9 pirate. Five damage per shot. Ah, uh, you know how I feel about pirate weapons. They had boom sticks. Those are probably on the Panthers. Yeah, mediums, large pulse, 7 tons, heat 30, PPC plus cap, 4 tons, plus capacitor, I guess? Unique fire modes, incompatible to, imp incompatible to PPC capacitor. Huh. That's an interesting weapon. RE medium laser. That's the one that does extra damage. Thumper artillery. R24 sheath beacon. So this... Yeah, I don't know. I think we may want to take case two. Wow, smoke. Why would you want to take that? I guess the game, a little bit of double barrel. What is this? Minus 2 recoil with AC-20 weapons, plus 10 to all AC-20 range brackets, plus 15% to AC-20 damage dealt. Wow. Plus 2 accuracy with arm-mounted weapons. Ooh. 
Oof. I, I, I mean, that's not going to be an immediate use, but I don't know how often we're going to see that. Regular heat sinks, pirate fire control system, uh, missile range. I don't think we need that anymore. Tracker. Uh. LBX-20 cluster. We didn't get any LBX-20. I guess we must have destroyed it. Uh, I wonder if that was on... These must have been on the... Uh, the Emperor. I wonder if the two ballistic weapons he had were, were 20s. Like AC-20s. I'll have to go back and look at that. Do we take two of them? I mean, there's not much here. We could take two in the case. I know I'm, I'm not taking the... Uh, that's this kind of an interesting thing to look at, too. Um, enhanced LRM-20. Now, does this just use regular... ammo? Or enhanced LRM ammo? Is there a difference? No, it looks like it's just regular. Uh, how much does this thing weigh? 13 tons, eh? It's not something that we can immediately use, though. I mean, the same as these, but I, I think these are far more rare than the enhanced LRMs. So let's grab these two double barrels, and I'm going to grab the Emperor part. Because there really isn't anything that's sticking out to me here that I really want to... Like, I mean... If I had a ton of stuff, then yeah, I would take this and check it out and see what it's like. Um, likewise with the LRM, uh, the enhanced LRM, but I mean, we don't have a ton of stuff, so I would rather go with things that I think are probably going to end up being rare. Because we'll get a chance to get the other LRM. And probably the chance to find this, it'll probably be a little better. I don't know. Well, let's just take these and see what we, see what else we get here. Okay, we got a Panther part and a Preda part. ER medium, the R, sorry, the RE medium laser. Case two, beautiful. Uh, basic cockpit we can sell. Standards we can sell. A couple more jump jets. Pirate fire control system. Um, and mortar ammo. Fast cam. Okay, I think we already have fast cam ammo though. Yeah, we got four of them. <laughs> All right. All right, 29,000, so not bad. Not bad. Seven days for repairs. It's a little much. But we do have bigger max now, so that's four days. Right? Three, four days for repairs. Perfect. So uh, let's advance the timeline. Got a new financial report for you, Commander. Okay, let's see if we've got... The Centurion needs to be back here. Okay, pause that. Let's see if we can get the Case 2 in the Centurion. Because we have we have regular Case in here right now. Um, but because we have he Heavy Pharaoh, we had to put that regular Case in. But if we're going to put regular Case in, we might as well put Case 2. Oh, come on. That should just swap out. There we go. So we got to figure out half a ton here, which shouldn't be too much of a problem. Wait a minute. Patchwork materials. I think we used up all our patchworks, did we? No, we got a 0.6. So let's pull this guy out. Let's put this one in. Actually, let's leave this one here. And put... See, that swapped out. Why don't the... Why doesn't case swap out? Let's put this in. One day. We've got another little bit of armor we could add here. Actually, let's just take that to 80. Perfect. Almost completely maxed out armor here. 64,000. I'm going to confirm that. We're through our financial report. We're good. Beautiful. Thank you. See, I, I wonder now. Let's get Hellion back. I'm wondering if she's lost that point. Because it shouldn't have been that long. She did. She lost the point.
That's a nasty bug. Wow. Okay. All right, let's get your gunnery up. Mech warrior training complete. Like that's really nasty. Training complete. Standing by. I mean, I guess in a way it's kind of compensation for for her being a really good gunner, but plus 10 overheat threshold. You don't really need that. We're going to go gunnery. All right. So, uh, let's have a look at the command center here. See what else we got. Two and a half skull last mech standing. One man art. One man's art. Um, pirate territory again. Local government lands. This will definitely be two lances. Maybe three. I don't know. Let's take the three skull. Get more salvage out of it this way. Let's accept it. And I'm going to go with the same layout here. And let's go. Alright, we got some immediate enemy contact. Alright. It's kill everybody time. Because that's how we do. Alright, so we got a couple of mechs with us. A bombard and a flea. I guess it just, they give you whatever to balance it out. We didn't get anything. Oh, we got something else here too. A bandit hovercraft. So we got two total lances. Okay. Rocket techie. That's it, eh? Alright, moving on up to the hillside. Ah, good times. That TV show, I used to watch that all the time when I was a kid. With JJ, Kid Dynamite. Kidding me? Yeah, no. I'm listening. Get up behind this rock. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's, uh... Brings back memories, man. To show good times. Okay, let's get into here. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, um, I was watching a show or a uh, YouTube video about uh, deaths and, uh, or sorry, sad moments in uh, TV uh, history, like in, in uh, series histories, and it, it was the uh, death of uh, JJ's father. He just doesn't come home one day. I think I got killed in a car accident. But uh, yeah, that was one of the shows I used to watch. Some of those old TV shows, it's funny, like you, you know, remembering back they all like they seemed hilarious and funny and you know like Welcome Back Cotter, um, the Jeffersons. There's like a lot of really great TV shows. Um, and then you go and try and watch them today, and you're just like, wow, how did I ever watch this? <laughs> it's just so bad now. But yeah, back then it was like I guess because they're really like that's all you that's all you could watch, right? That's all that was there. Oh, it's an Orion. Sorry, I pronounced it that way on purpose. All nice. Watch out for the Orion. Let's stay spread out a bit. We got something else down here too. Phoenix Hawk. Okay, not so bad. Let's get into here. Copy that, Commander. 
hit this orient with what we have. Uh, yeah, let's do it. A lot of nothing. <sighs> it's a Winston. Winston Churchill. Yeah, I don't know if you guys have got... I don't know how old you guys are, but... I don't know if you remember any TV shows from your youth that you... Oh, there's a Clint coming up here, too. Oh, what the hell is that? I'm taking internal damage. It's a Clint Eastwood. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, that's, that's cool. I don't know who came up with that, but that's, that's cool. It's a Clint Eastwood. Uh, I think we need to target Clint Eastwood, personally. Let's get some good, let's get a good solid red line on him. How much damage did we take here? That's a significant amount of damage. Wow, we almost lost a torso. Good thing he's got low armor. So start. This thing have like a rack 10 or a rack 20 or something ridiculous on it? Or some kind of weird six shooter like... Commander. Commander, please tell me you can get a shot on him. Beautiful. I got it. Don't think. Don't shoot. Just run. No, no, we need all of the above, please. Yeah, we're going to crank it up. You don't hit us and get away with that. See ya. Screw you. You get one shot at it and that's it. Oh, it was a rotary AC-20. Well, it got destroyed, but better than letting him use it again on me. It's Frankie. Is it Frankie Goes to Hollywood? Or Frankenstein? Or Frankenstein, depending on which movie you watched. M-U-T-T-9, eh? Got a direct line of sight on this guy. Oof, still terrible, eh? Standard ammo. Alright, let's do it. Uh, let's leave the barrage off so we have a better chance. Okay, that's a pretty good amount a hit. That's alright. Happy with that. I guess the, uh, the streak LRM must have hit. It's nice when the streak LRM hits and you get all 15 that hit. That's that's it's nice. Beautiful. So our Hollander is effectively out of this battle. So she's gonna have to kind of retreat back and fire from distance. We'll get that PPC capacitor up and running from a distance and just start winging it off. Hopefully we get a few hits here or there, but not much else we can do with it right now. Not without a chance of losing the PPC and the capacitor. All they have to do is hit this torso. It's like a, it's like a medium laser hit away from death. I mean, all you know, the other thing too is we can... Not really that worried about it, because we can go back to the LBX loadout. Get the LBX-10 on there. Oh! <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> that was one shot. Enemy sensor lock detected. That'll bite me.
Okay, so what do we got over here? Got the Frankie. Frankie goes to Hollywood. Another Orion and a Hunchback. Okay. That's the Rocket Techie. Which we don't want to get a good shot on us, but I think we got to kill this Orion first. Let's see what we can do with this Orion. He's already taken some hits. Ooh, that's terrible. Yeah, thanks for telling me that. Hollander goes on 18, eh? Yeesh. Goofy, you're going to have to give him something to shoot for, buddy. Damn it. Oh, there it goes. Okay, how do we want to deal with this? Oh. Oh, what do we got back here? Yenlo Wang. Great. Let's hammer this guy. Okay, I think we got to pull back. We may have bitten off more than we could chew here. With the loss of that PPC, it's going to be a struggle, I think. But who the, who the heck thought they would have a rotary autocannon 20 on a friggin' Clint Eastwood mech? For order. A little bit of firing and maneuvering, I think. Let's target this guy with the barrage as well. See what we can get out of it. I said you're gonna like me. Let's drop back down here. All right, we're going to have to employ our fire maneuver. Okay. Dah. Well, hopefully he's out of AMS ammo soon. Got to get serious here. Beautiful. Okay, he's panicking.
Rocket Tech, he's still out of range, but we got to kill this guy. We can't let him get into uh, range. I think he's got a ton of rocket launchers. He could do a lot of damage at close range. Got to be very wary of that, I think. But this Phoenix Hawk is another worry. I think we want to stick a back attack on that Phoenix Hawk. Goofy's probably the one to do it, but we got to kill that Rocket Techie. Yen Lo Wang's got the AC-10, I believe. And he's got that one me uh, melee arm, I think. But he may be, looks like he might be stuck up on a rock here. Kind of payback for me being stuck on, up on a rock that one time. Yeah, by the way, the, the people who mentioned that reloading, if we get a guy stuck up on a uh, hill over uh, adding jump jets to everybody, I think that's, yeah, that's that's a completely fair thing. But I think too, though, if we get if we end up in a match and we get a mech that's like stuck up on a hill, an enemy mech, um, I'm not going to reload, but I may try and keep a uh, tally on who's got, like, how many times the enemy's had a problem, how many times we've had a problem. Uh, let's fire maneuver here. Oh, that looked like two leg hits to me. Sure as heck was, but he's gone. Enemy mech destroyed. It's BTFU, man. Awaiting orders. Okay, we got a fire maneuver opportunity. How far can you move, though? Not very far. That guy's got some eyes on. That's a beautiful chance for a back attack, but we could kill the rocket techie doing this. Because he's coming up over that hill next turn, guaranteed. Yes, Commander. Guaranteed he's coming up over the hill. Let's give you some uh, the ability to get the hell away. The is wow. You failed. Oh, he's got AMS, really. How far can you sprint? It's not ideal. Not ideal, but we're taking it. Yeah, we'll just fire. Taking the shot. We gotta bring the rain on that rocket techie. Give that guy something else to shoot for. And he's too close to use swarm. Wait, what? I can't target him? Did I turn too... I must have turned too much, damn it. What do we got back here? Are you kidding me? There's a lot of guys in this mission. We better save the ammo. That was a really bad move on my part. Looks like he hit his own guy too.
little bit of damage, not much. I mean, it's a good thing we're all in, like, heavier mechs now. If we had 30 tenders here, we'd be in serious problems. Ammo is going to be the issue with this one, I think. Now with that PPC gun, we don't really have a big heavy hitting energy weapon. So ammo is definitely going to become the issue. I should have put... Um, yeah. It's a bad move. Oh, I should have put energy weapons on all of my mechs. Okay, let's deal with this guy. Almost nothing left in the front. I don't want to spend too much ammo on him. That might just be enough. Yeah, beautiful. Okay. Yeah, I think I still think we're outgunned here. We got two. We got two mediums and a heavy on the right-hand side, a medium and heavy in front of us, and a medium and a vehicle on the left of us. Well, well at least we got some fire firing happening from our uh, rear end guys here. So I think we got to pull back, get some shielding from these hills. Ah, oh, man, I don't know. Oh, he's only got flamers, eh? Okay. Damage is light. We'll take the plus eight heat. We're in Tundra, we're good. This is a 70 ton or two. A lot of armor. Phoenix Hawk next, I think, if we can get it. We'll save the Yen, yen Lo, since it can't move, it, I'm, I'm presuming it's stuck on that hill. Can't take much more of that. Yeah, Reporting. just don't freak out on me. Let him have it. As you wish. Oof, not quite enough. Solid connection on that one. I don't think we can get, unless he makes a mistake here. Yeah, he did. Should be able to kill him this turn. I know it seems crazy to turn my back to that Winston, but I don't think it's got the, the uh, kick to do what it needs to do here. So how are we looking here? I think three should probably be enough. Let's do it. You sure as hell did. Yeah. What can I do you for? Oh, 
one out. Oof. Let's take it. Target acquired. Nice, the streaks hit. It's nice having those streaks because you know, like, you've got like eight turns of ammo. But you know all eight of them, like all those rounds are going to hit. It's kind of a bonus. Give them a target to shoot for. Maybe they'll avoid everybody else. Firing at this guy. God, I gotta start hitting. I mean, I did destroy the Orion, so that's kind of a bonus, but... Fire and maneuver. Let's go with HE. Ah, uh, one hit. Location confirmed. Alright, not bad. So the left's almost clear. We should be able to kill this uh, Winston pretty quickly. Then it's the Yenlo Wang. What about this? We got this is like a flea or something back here? How many they must have had three four lances. Or three lances. Rapier, okay. The Yenlo Wang is a sitting duck. Hopefully with a focused fire in one turn we can pull it down. Damage is light. Once this Winston's gone, that is. I like the fact that we've got somebody at our back here. Even though it is mostly flamers, it's it's got to go. Nice. Every little bit helps. Marsden too. Yeah, they got they must have at least one, two, probably four lances. They're coming around the side. Ow. Oh. oh shit, really? What kind of missile racks did he have? That's my fault. Yes, Commander. Move order received. Damn it all. <sighs> well, if Hellion died, at least that'll solve our uh, not getting experience properly problem. Okay. See if we can kill this Winston. We need retribution. Ah, uh, better not use the tag. <laughs> Fire it all. Yes, command. Okay, full speed it is. We're going to work on getting behind this hill. Wow, really? Well, somebody had an AMS. Full speed, no target. 
Ugh. Doesn't matter what you use. All right. That uh, Winston lulled me into a false sense of security with the, uh, the weak-ass flamer attack on our guy, on Goofy, and I thought for sure it wasn't going to have an issue with the back attack with the two missile launchers. I didn't think they would have so many missiles. It'd be such a great chance to hit, but whatever. That Centurion had like full back armor too. All right, two more turns, we can bug out of here. God, really? Well, at least we know now. If I had two of my own lances, it might have been a different story. So, I think three skull and above, definitely we need to get have our second lance up and running. Which is kind of sad because we're we're at a point now where our mechs are really set up for three skull missions, but we can't do them. I mean, I guess if, if we, yeah, he's got LRMs. Warning, armor breached. Internal damage. Yep, I know. <sighs> I guess for missions like this, if you really wanted to do it, you get a mech, like a, a lighter mech with a big engine, tons of jump jets, and all of the friggin' defense systems you can put into it. Oof. Lots of armor. Yeah, thanks. And then you, everybody else makes for the uh, extraction point. Beautiful. Revenge. Yeah, so you, you, you get a, a jump capable defensive mech, right? You jump your way into here, you jump your way over here while everybody else forces themselves right to the extraction point and then you jump out. I mean, you don't get any salvage that way really, but All right, no point point risking any more at this point. Oh. This is a pretty heavy load for uh for three skulls, man. That's a lot of heavy mechs. Oh, there goes my other arm. Got a weapon out. And my torso. I'm here. Uh, my left torso is still good. Isn't this where the... Uh The ATM is here. Oh, I hit the ammo. I see what he did. I see what you did. Um. Really? Failed to connect. Really? We still have the... Oh, maybe not. Maybe maybe it did hit both bits of ammo. I have no idea what it did.
All right, let's line up with this guy across the way. Got the barrage going. Well, we missed with the barrage, but uh, at least it didn't land short. I think we'll stay at two and a half skull now for a while. Two, two and a half. So we gather some more GAC. I think we work on getting the uh, the, sh the drop ship so we can drop more more than just uh, five mechs here. If we can get another one down, that might really help. So this will be the last turn. All right, take a pot shot at this guy. All Reporting. Can you, uh, how far can you jump here? Not any farther than you can run, really. Let's get up here. I'll try and stay behind the hill here as best we can. All right, firing on this guy. Standard ammo. Beautiful. See what I mean? It would have been a completely different battle if we hadn't lost that uh, Centurion. We could have stayed for quite a long time, I think. At least until the ammo ran out, that is. That's the other thing too. We would have run out. Of, uh, we would have run out of LRMs like really early. The streaks probably would have lasted quite a bit. The rack ammo we were managing pretty well. But definitely by the end of the battle we would be down to just lasers. So I don't think taking on those heavies, even at the reduced armor state they're in, I don't think it would have worked out. I really don't. There's just too many of them. And I'd hate to switch over to all energy weapons to do missions like this. Because we just don't have them right now. There's just no way. Uh... So we can just click withdrawal, right? Yep. Yeah, we'll take the money, we'll take the damage. The commander orders a retreat. So when we took that mission, I was still thinking the in the old way, the old style. God, took some major losses here in Sea Bills. Salvage assigned. ER large laser, fire control system, energy. A couple of jump jets. Wow. Oh, look at this. We're nearly broke, Commander. Yeah, I know. Our net tank is just, we're almost complete. We're Thank you for telling me. We're, almost we're nearly broke, Commander. Oh. Well, at least we didn't lose anything permanently. Um, okay, Centurion up front. 
bring the Hellspawn in. Because, or sorry, the Hollander. We didn't lose anything off these guys, so these guys are okay where they are. Um, yeah. It's going to be 16 days of repairs anyway. All right, so I'm going to end the episode there, guys. I know what I did wrong. I When I took the mission, I was thinking in the old... Um, Rogue Tech, it was one lance per target area you were going after, and I should be I should have been considering the fact that because we're dropping with more guys, that it may have been up to two lances per uh, target area that we had to go after, so four lances. And that's where I made my mistake, and then of course turning my back. Of course I shouldn't have done that, but I just that Winston had up until that point had not given me any indication that it was a threat. But still, it was 70 tons, and I should I should know better. All right, so I'm going to leave the episode there. Um, I will get everything repaired between, um, sell off a bunch of stuff so we're not in that gutter, uh, C bill wise. Figure out what we're going to do with the loss of that PPC. I don't. I mean, we got other stuff we can put on there. I'm not that worried about it. The Hollander can get refit without a problem. Uh, all right, so I'm going to end the episode there. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.